masa, the semita, very delicious. From Puebla, Mexico. For whatever reason, they had a Lebanese kind of a influence there. A lot of merchants went over, opened up their business, and I guess the two cultures just fused and made what's called a, a taco arabe. We're going to get a couple of serrano peppers, dry oregano. Wow, look how rustic that looks. We get that from Mexico. A little bit of cloves, some black pepper, some white pepper, parsley. Everybody, stems and all? Yeah. The more the better. A little bit of salt, white vinegar. Casey just tuned in. That's not a margarita. <laughs> We're going to grab our pork shoulder and let this marinate for a little bit. Two, three hours. Mm -hmm. Is this going on a rotisserie? Is that where the atabe part go comes in? Yeah. Once we get them all marinated, then we come over and we stack them up We're like make the. a beautiful ball of meat, my friend. Partying in Chicago with a ball of meat. The onions, pork shoulder, onions, pork shoulder, onions. Why can't it be pork shoulder, onion, pork shoulder, onion, onion pork shoulder? <laughs> it's always your way. <laughs> I love shawarma. Similar. In, in real yiddo. Oh, happy. I'm going to try to tuck that in there. That's all I am just out of my mind right now. <laughs> I could fit that in the car. They just slice it up and down to start with and just let the juices flow all over the place. You know what those are? Those are tears from the flavor angel. Just put that on the flat top for a little bit. It's charred on the outside. You don't use a regular everyday tortilla. What you use is a real thin pita. What was that right over there? That's just a meat to fill. Oh, OK. The only thing that taco out of it takes is the chipotle sauce that we pureed from the chipotle. Mmm. Oh, you're not reading my mind? Oh, meat's super tender. 